There are some precious and powerful parallels between my adoption of my daughter Talitha 23 years ago and God's adoption of me 66 years ago. Number one, she calls me daddy and I call God daddy. That is in my most painful, desperate, intimate moments. I need you, Abba. Two, Del Talitha bears my name, Talitha Ruth Piper, and I bear God's name. I'm a Christian because Christ is God. Number three, I provided for her. If she gets in a pinch today, I'll be there to provide for her. And God has provided for me everything I've ever needed. And there are some amazing non-parallels. I did not adopt Talitha at eight weeks old in order that she might spend the rest of her life, let alone the rest of her eternity, making much of me. But God did adopt me and you for that. Ultimately, magnify our Father, glorify our Father, hallow our Father, extol our Father, admire our Father, treasure our Father above everything, including life itself. Those who love your name may exult in you. And when this exulting in Him happens, hallowing happens more happy in him than health, more happy in him than marriage, more happy in him than children, more happy in him than money, more happy in him than success, more happy in him than life. Oh, how good he looks in the lives of people who find more satisfaction in God than anything, especially in moments of loss and suffering. Keltha turns 23 on Thursday across from Abbott Hospital and buy 23 long stem red roses because it's my duty. It's what I am expected to do, especially adoptive father. Everybody intuitively knows that's a bad answer. Why is that a bad answer? What's wrong with duty, for goodness sakes? Well, what's wrong with that is joyless duty doesn't honor her. So. What's got to change for her to be honored, for God to be honored? This has got to change. You got to stop doing stuff out of that motive. You got to be new. You got to love. The right answer would be something like, because I just enjoy spending time with you and kind of showing you in that time that it's special. I love to be with you. You make me glad. Enjoying a person is a form of esteem for them, and they feel it. And that's the way it is with our Father in heaven.